So hi, I'm Adam Titley from Altura. I'm going to talk to you today about this um, vision demo we have here. So the algorithm we're showing is uh, Lucas Canade Optical Flow, um, running on a Cyclone uh, 5 SOC development kit that we have just here. Um, so this algorithm is showing, is detecting motion from one frame to the next. And so we're creating a motion vector for each movement. And in this particular case, we're producing a, a vector for every single uh, pixel in the image. So this is a dense optical flow. And we're showing this by colouring each pixel. So you can see if I move my hand up, we're kind of getting uh, cyan type colours. And then if we're moving down, we're kind of getting uh, red colours. So you can see that if you uh, changing the motion uh, that we're getting some nice colour patterns there to indicate the movement that's happening in this video. So the first thing about this demo is it's running uh, 720p60, so that's 1280 by 720 lines, um, 60 frames a second. So it's very high throughput um, for this particular algorithm. Um, but the other feature, or one other feature I'd like to say about this demo is it was um, developed using Altera's OpenCL SDK. Um, so OpenCL is much more familiar to software engineers um, and is perhaps a more uh, beneficial flow for those working on the vision development than um, traditional methods such as VHDL or Verilog. And I think one of the key aspects about the use of our OpenCL and the software-like tool flow is the fact that the development time for this was very, very short. So we took a standard C implementation um, and then ported that to OpenCL and the two look very, very similar in time to type of construct. Um, so it's very easy for software developers to see this kind of thing. And then using our SDK, then we took that OpenCL source code and pushed that down into uh, through our standard design tool flows uh, to create the, uh, the FPJ image that's loaded into the device. So, and the third thing about the, uh, the OpenCL is that it's useful for programming heterogeneous systems. So it's very easy for us to use um, the power of the ARM platform or the ARM cores that are within the SOC device coupled with the FPGA. So the uh, OpenCL uh, heterogeneous system that was uh, conceived for this mapped very nicely to our device architecture. So I think the three things to focus on there are the, the very good performance of FPGA, the stream-based processing for complex and high throughput um, vision processing, coupled with uh, OpenCL kind of software-like tool flow development that software engineers in the vision space are more uh, happy with. And then finally, the, uh, the very um, much greater design productivity you get by using an OpenCL software flow um, for these types of designs. Thank you very much.